Hello everyone, it's me again, Smart, Smart Nautilus. Firstly, today I'm going to talk about sea animals, and these are jellyfish. There's going to be lots of jellyfish, and don't mind if I talk about some things. The first thing I'm going to do is the, is the basics of jellyfish. All jellyfish, like moon jellyfish, all have a bell that are composed of 95% water. And yes, they are gonads here on the top. To produce the eggs or sperm, this is how the this is how the moon jellyfish reproduce. This is the moon jelly. <laughs> Sorry for my spelling. <sighs> nah. And well, about moon jellies, they are transparent and they blend well with the water. This is a baby because the these gonads are gold. Ba baby gonads are gold, golden like in color. And they are, and they are quite uh, nice. Being transparent. Uh, for the enemy is quite good. Their their tentacles have nitrocytes that contain the nematocyst. Oh my god! The nematocyst is contained inside. Normally, for moon jelly, it won't uh, do for for us. It won't penetrate our skin, but if it touches some other things. Then it will put its harpoon right into the enemy's flesh. Some like the box jellyfish, Cubozoa, in the class Cubozoa, was also its, its smaller cousin, the Urukandra. Yes, the Urukandra is tiny. And the box jellyfish and the Irokanji <clears throat> delivers a potent venom, enough to kill a human in you know, two or five minutes. So you, there is an anti-venom, but if you got uh, stung, you better get away fast. And uh, they, And they are basically nearly transparent, just like glass. Yeah, wait. Just, just like that glass on my window. I mean, sure, but you, you might think, what's wrong with the box jellyfish? Well, it delivers a very potent venom, and it lives in Australia and Japan. And so, whoever swims in the ocean in either of the countries that, that is, has a warning inside the box jellyfish. Do not uh, swim over the barrier if there is a barrier. Well, uh, there, no, I'm calling it blue because, well, they're sometimes blue. The Irukandji, on the other hand, is very smaller. And it likes to, it, it has one additional trait, bell stingers. Bell stingers are enough, uh, if you bump into it, then it will do an instant game over for you. For you, if you're human, the largest jellyfish is the linesman jellyfish, as shown here. They are gigantic in size. I don't think I can even draw it on my paper. And being a gigantic, they have the they have about one thousand tentacles, and they are very big to be exact and they they ain't invisible because uh, they do have some some color like yellow and some orange it's hard to some orange over here like I remember lines and jellyfishes are orange like a little bit somehow
Like uh, over here is the orange. The tentacles are, I don't know what color, like black. And these are huge. It has like this uh, dark red. Like this red over, over there. Let me just color with this one. With like red on the bell because if you saw it on the beach, you better run away, and you might see it's red. You might see it's red, so that's why. And the uh, other part is like golden, a little bit golden. The next is the colonial jellyfish, the Portuguese man of war. It's actually not a man of war. It's not actually a jellyfish, but a siphonophore. A large group of animals cooperating with together. Each of them has one task. Uh, but they are like, and they are very vulnerable because uh, of why they use a balloon to propel themselves instead of a bell like other jellyfish at least they can at least they can go quicker and then they go beached up anyone steps on it it's very painful i have to say it's very painful i didn't experience it before but i never got stung but sure no it uh, it's uh, you if you call it a jellyfish it's technically not it's in the class hydrozoa and there's uh, another mm, jellyfish that is basically very weird because uh, it mm, what does it eat its own larvae Lord Bay is basically like babies. Basically, that's what that means. Lord Bays are babies, and whatever make it up becomes this very beautiful jellyfish. I would say it will win maybe first place on the jellyfish beautiful tier list. Maybe. And they glow when they are pre when predators approach. And there's more jellyfishes that we have to talk about. Way more. And now let's talk about the reproduction. Firstly, there's asexual and sexual reproduction. The sexual reproduction is when they reject sperm and eggs to create a polyp or a polyp that then buds to to a surface and then grow into basically an anemone and then they detach to become basically mini jellyfish and then they become a ad adult jellyfish and the whole process starts again it starts with a larvae and then it attaches grows but some of them don't make it and by the way only the babies of the lions may get eaten yeah and not the adults because they're too big and they have too much tentacles that's what wikipedia says and next the cutest one that i know is the fried egg jellyfish it looks like a fried egg Mm, because of its yellowish appearance uh, to to lot of visitors that makes it that makes you be like uh, there's a a jellyfish that really looks like a fried egg for you only these uh, round circle things that are detaching can sting they have some kind of in relationship with fish because the fish likes to go in their tentacles for protection that's quite nice for them they 
Mm, and it's and yeah, that's for that's for today. And, and please subscribe to us. And that will really help me a lot. You can comment down below what you think, and comment what animal you want next. Sea animal or land animal. You can say bye. Like.